In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Deco tool. It's been much misunderstood. It has many, many effects. Uh, normally, most people find the first one, Vine Fill. Click on the screen and see a whole heap of flowers appearing and then wonder why they want that. Well, indeed, you may not. But the thing which most people miss is that you can swap out the leaf symbol or the flower symbol for symbols of your choice, pressing edit. I could switch that for blob and I could switch that for fish. Uh, this is going to be a little bit interesting. Let's see how we go. I'll select these existing uh, results of the Deco tool and now pop it in with blob and fish. And I'll see that actually it's... Um, trying to draw something a little bit different. It's not having much luck getting to the point where it can actually insert the fish, but it's certainly doing something very different. I'm going to undo that a few times. I'm going to reselect the Deco tool and select the Symmetry brush. Now, the Symmetry brush requires a symbol, and I could use the standard fish symbol, but we'll find it's going to be too big. So I'm going to duplicate fish, or well, let's go with fish 2, and make a new copy called fish too small. When I edit fish too small, I'm going to select everything with a command A or control A and change the size of this down so it's quite a bit smaller. Now I can jump back out into my scene, back to properties, back to the deco brush and select fish too small as the symbol I want to use. When you first use the symmetry brush and you've got the symbol selected, it may not seem that it's doing anything and you might see something just appear if you move into the right spot. So what you can do is move back to the center of your document where you'll see this control. Click and drag to move that to where you want the symmetry to be centered. And then when you click and drag, you'll see that you're actually placing multiple copies of your symbol around that central point. You can also adjust the angle and the number of segments which you're going to produce with symmetry. If you don't test for collisions, then you'll have multiple copies of your object. And if you do, it means that they won't overlap, meaning that uh, at certain angles, you'll be left with actually something slightly less than symmetrical, simply because it couldn't fit in the missing fish there. Most of the time, though, it'll be entirely regular, something like that. So the symmetry brush can be applied more than once with different symbols, if you wish. And it's just one of the many, many effects available with the Deco brush. It is one of the most customizable, though. What you need to do first is make your symbols, make sure that they're the appropriate size, then select them using the edit menu and choosing the symbol you want to apply.